hearts, our grateful hearts. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the Spirit of the living God. For To the Lamb of God, we worship the King of Kings. Spirit, have your way this morning. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Let's give God a praise this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Jehovah, you, I trust in you. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, Jehovah, you. Say, I trust, I trust in, you. in you. Say, I believe, I believe, I believe. Say, I trust. I 
Alléluia, Alléluia. Express my gratitude for all the many things you've done for me. Words are not enough to say thank you, Lord. You're my everything. Say, how can I express, how can I express my gratitude for all the many things, all the many things you've done, done for me? Say, words are not enough. Lord, you are. Lord, you're my everything. So how can I express my gratitude? How can I express my gratitude for all the many things?
Somebody has got to praise. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Jesus is ours forevermore. Somebody give God a praise. He's worthy to receive all the honor. Jesus, we lift you high. Be magnified, King of Kings. We thank you, Lord, because you are ours, Jesus. Come on, somebody open up your mouth and praise. He's a worthy God. Jesus, you are ours, Lord. Jesus, thank you for being mine. I can run to you when I'm weary. I can run to you when I'm feeling down. I can run to you when I'm feeling sad. Thank you, Lord, that you are mine forever. You never leave me nor forsake me. You're my friend yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lamb of God. He's my Savior. My Redeemer, my forevermore. He's my Savior, He's my, savior. My, redeemer. my Redeemer, my forevermore. He's my Savior, He's my, savior. my Redeemer. My redeemer. He's my forevermore. Thank you for being our King of Kings. Come and open up your mouth and give God some words. We magnify your name, Lamb of God. Be lifted high, King of Kings. We praise you, we praise you, Jesus. Your glory is We worship you, El Shaddai. We worship you, Adonai. We worship you, King of Kings. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. From the
of the Lord is in this place. Just appreciate God. Just just tap into what God has for you today. He's here. He's here. He's here. Show ya 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 Ye be ya bobo I am the Lord I fail not I am the Lord I fail not I am everlasting to everlasting I fail not Thank you Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Tell your neighbor the Holy Spirit is here. The Holy Spirit is in this place. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is in this place. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is in this place. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Anything is possible when the Holy Spirit is in the place. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. My joy is overleaping. Thank you, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so sorry. I can't contain myself. When the Holy Spirit comes upon me, I must glorify Jesus. Amen. Welcome, everyone.
into the presence of the Holy Spirit. Today is a good day. The reason why is because whatever you are expecting God to do, it has already happened. Amen. Amen. And in the same atmosphere, we're going to worship Him with our tithes and our offerings. The song said earlier, what can I do or say to give you thanks? This is a good opportunity to say thank you, Lord. And as I always do when I'm up here, you speak to your seed and you command that seed and you send that seed and you speak to that seed a return. Don't just sow. Sow expectantly as you give to God. You are blessed.
our God is so much good. Amen. It's nothing like His presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pastor Frank, can you please come and pray for the offering? Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for the offering, but I have a word to say before I can pray. Um, I was reading the Bible yesterday, um, as I always do, and uh, a few things that I captured were um, loving God. The Bible says, he who does and who does know God loves God. And he who doesn't love God doesn't know God. Mm. Again, he says, he who, who loves God does the will of God. And if you don't know and you don't love God, you don't do the will of God. And it's one of the good things that we've got to do is to give to us the work of God and it's the will of God. Amen. So I want to pray for this. Father, we thank you for being gracious to us and giving us this opportunity to give. How awesome and precious it is. I thank you for those who have given. Lord, we know that there are many who have not been able to give, not because they don't like it, King of Kings, because they haven't been able to give. Or for one reason or the other, you know them more than we know. Father, we pray that you may continue to work out a good work in them. And continue to make them be a blessing and that they may share in this blessing as well. I pray also for those who are not giving because they don't want to give to be prompted not to miss out on these blessings that you have given. That you may prompt them, Lord Almighty, to reach out and they share in this good thing that you have given us. And bless this, Lord, you have allowed your people to give. Bless those who have given greatly. Multiply us, so you promise the God of Master who promises to be with us always and to lift us each day that pass by from glory to glory. That you may bless them, lift them, let them see your goodness prevail. Bless this work on to Lord used and let it be used to good use that your name may be glorified as it's used because we thank you we pray in Jesus name and God's people said Amen. 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 Amen Thank you Pastor Frank Thank you so much choir You've done wonderful this morning Let's give it up for the choir Hallelujah You may be seated everyone Again, um, just want to welcome you all, and you all look so beautiful this morning. Um, it's always good to be in the presence of the Lord. I'm just going to take you to the announcements quickly, as it will be shown on the screen. So we have our morning glory from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., Mondays to Fridays. Um, and the information would be on Zoom. And then we also have our Wednesday Bible studies from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Again, the information is on Zoom. This Friday, we will not, um, sorry, this Saturday, we will not have the monthly prayer like we normally do, the fasting and praying. Um, but it's going to be, it's postponed to another date. So just be mindful of that. Um, Pastor will announce the date in, in due course. Um, we also have our food bank. We had a great time yesterday. Um, it was lovely again to see people, to speak to people. And again, there's always opportunity for you to serve. You know, just find yourself where you need to be. Um, volunteers are needed in the food bank. Um, I think there's volunteers needed for the collection as well, where possible. And then also for serving the people on a Saturday, you know, making tea and talking to people and fellowshipping and praying with people. And God is doing amazing things there as well. So I believe that's all the announcements. Um, for the week, if I've missed out anything, I think Pastor will um, just add on that. Yeah? Okay, now, the second best part of this party, we had the first best part, which is the worship part, which is my awesome favorite. Now we have the second best part, which is breaking bread with Jesus himself. Yeah? So open your spirits to the word of the Lord. Because I know, like I said earlier, and God doesn't lie. He said something great is going to happen today. So in that word, God might just give you the answer to what you need. He might just show you something you've never seen before. So open your minds, open your spirit to the Holy Spirit, and let him just minister to you as we welcome 
the, the man of God that's going to be our pastor will do that Hello. thank you so much thank you so much sister Nicolette for leading us praise God just do me a favor turn to your neighbor and say you're welcome in the presence of God just greet them Amen. Let's quickly say hi. Hey, church, I said neighbor. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Okay, we're running out of time. Let's quickly have our seats. Praise God. And again, you're most welcome. I would thank God who has enabled you to travel. I was scared of the uh, traffic jam today because of the London Marathon. But you know what? It's been light. Traffic jam has been light. Uh, and for those of you who have come on time, may God bless you mightily. And all of us who have come, praise God. Uh, Pastor Simon Semuji, happy to have you with us, worshiping with us this morning. May God bless you mightily. Praise God. Yes, we've come that time with the word of God. Uh, Pastor Emmanuel, Reverend Emmanuel Soga has blessed us quite a few times if he's come here. He was with us yesterday. He's a man who has got a testimony behind him. You know, I love his testimony and his humility uh, to obeying the voice of God. I told you about his testimony last time around where I think for those of you who come from Uganda, if I've heard, he was owning, is it Nadja hardware shop where he was... Um, million even by the standards of London here, Britain. And he lost it all, but God gave it him back. But God wanted him to come to him to serve God. The testimony is quite big. He was telling it on one of the radios in Uganda for about five days, which was quite touching. But for a man like that to be serving God, that's a miracle in itself. And today we are blessed that we have him this morning. Um, he's, he talked to us about prayer yesterday. Um, going back to that place of prayer um, the, uh, it was live on our channel so if you can go back you can have it but he's going to preach to us today and I'll be interpreting for him so can you stand up on your feet as we welcome the man of God Hallelujah I'm happy to be here this morning. <laughs> I came with my daughter. Can you please come and say hello to Praise God Church. I'm happy to be here. Like I've been here a couple of times, but I thank God for coming here all the time. And thanks for coming us all the time. Amen. Let us sing one song. Your love is kind. Your, Your love, love is patient. patient. You fill my heart with so much peace and joy. With so, so much peace and joy. Say your amazing love. My life feel brand new. Say you're amazing. You're amazing. You make my life. You make my life feel brand new. Jesus, Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. Your excess love, oh. say too much, too much, oh. too much, oh. too much, your oh. excess love, oh. say too much, too much, oh. too much, oh. too much, too much, excess love. Oh. 
Lord, we thank you for you've given us life. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for bringing us this day. Holy Spirit, teach us, reveal to us the deeper things and deliver us from every powers of darkness from sicknesses, from debt, from pain, from every kind of trouble. Work in us, Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Emmanuel in Subuga is the names. From Mutundwe Christian Fellowship. From Mutundwe Christian Fellowship. I thank God that I'm here today. By the grace of God. Yesterday we shared in the word of God about Haman. And I want us to go forward with that today. And to see this a similar word in the time that God has given us. Let the name of God be praised. God may bring a situation, but in that kind of situation, there is your miracle. God may bring a problem, but in that problem, there is a miracle for you. And even this morning, God is going to do something new in our lives. Your presence is your miracle. You are going to see the glory of God. You are going to see the hand of God. When problems come, ask why are they here? Why are they manifesting? Never cry. Just organize yourself and ask God why has this happened to me? Maybe you've opened doors and the enemy entered and then it begins beating you down. But, ask in, but in those situations our grandfather Job it happened to him and everything that he had disappeared in one day. Now he took a long time to gather himself. And it took him some time to find out what had exactly happened to his life. But when he gathered himself, he knew. And he said, No, there's no sin I've committed. And he made me happy because he says, Lord, it is you killing me. But this flesh which is rotting, I'm going to see you in this flesh. Let the name of God be praised. Today, let us share about this man, Haman. You have read about him. You know this story. But there's something I want to reveal to you today. The Holy Spirit may him speak to us that you may understand it today in a different way. Praise God. Esther chapter 3. Uh, book of Esther chapter 3. Let us start from verse 4. From verse 4. Then you're reading for us. Then you read for us for up to 10. Up to 10. Hello. Yes. Praise God. Esther chapter 3 verse 4 it says now it happened when they spoke to him daily now it happened when they spoke to him daily and he would not listen to them that they told it to Haman to see whether Mordecai's words would stand for Mordecai had told them that he was a Jew when Haman saw that Mordecai did not bow down and pay homage Haman was filled with wrath, but he disdained to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had told him of the people of Mordecai. Instead, Haman sought to destroy all the Jews who were throughout the whole of the kingdom of I can't pronounce Asherius. Asherius, the people of Mordecai. 
In the first month, which is the month of Nisa, in the 20th year of the king Assyria, they cast Pur, that is the lot, before Haman to destine the day and the month until it fell on the 20th month, uh, sorry, the 12th month, which is the month of Ada. And Haman said to king Assyria, there is a certain people scattered and dispersed uh, among the people in all the province for you, for your kingdom. Their laws are different from all other people. They do not keep to the king's, to the king's law. Therefore, it is not f fitting for the king to let them reign. If it pleases the king, let a decree be written that they be destroyed. I will pay 10,000 talents of silver into the hands of those who do the work to bring it into the kingdom's king's treasury. So the king took his signet ring from his hand and gave it to Haman and the sons of Hadamatha? Hamedatha yeah? Yeah. the Agagite. Hamedatha and Agonite, uh, Agagites, uh, Agagites, the enemies of the Jews. Let the name of our Lord be praised. We are going to share on those uh, scriptures. Verse 5 says that when Haman saw that Mordecai did not pay bar or pay homage to him, now Haman was filled with wrath. There are so many things in our lives. Now, I tell you, never bow to them. Now, this man, the Holy Spirit helped him. When Haman became the prime minister, I don't know what was in Mordecai, but he refused to bow down to him and even to salute him. And he refused the one from day one. I want you today to look into your life that many things may come in your life that may take us away from God. Now they may look like obvious things but they've come to destroy us. But this man he looked at the situation that even ahead of that situation won't be good. Now he refused to bow before Haman. The next verse says that Haman was filled with anger and he said, I'm going to deal with him. But that this not stop Mordecai known to bow to him. Now, there were quite a few times but Mordecai never bowed to him and this man increased in anger now the more he got angry and then Mordecai said and then Haman decided I won't touch only Mordecai but I'm going to touch the entire nation and all his people that's what I've come to tell you this afternoon that Haman has arisen, arisen because you refused to bow down to him <laughs> Because you decided to follow Jesus Christ. Now you open a door of war from that day. Now you are in a war. And he says that you are not going to pray. That you won't fast. I'm going to deal with you. I'm going to frustrate you. Now it, it, now it is even beyond you. Now it is now on your wife. Even your children. Even your work. Now it's touching your entire nation. But I'm here to tell you. Never listen. Never allow. To bow down to any situation. Which has arisen today. Now, Haman didn't stop there. He did something else altogether. I want to reveal to you. Now, our enemy, 
we sit with them. The Bible says that your enemy will be a person in your household. Now, Haman was envious. Now, he got all his friends and he told them and then they, put, they, they cast a lot. And he was even the victorious. I want to tell you. With the enemy, the devil. He has a reason. To frustrate what God has put in your life. He has a reason. To frustrate you are calling upon your life. He has a reason. To destroy your, your family, your house. To destroy your, your children. To destroy your work. But today, we are going to cancel. We are going to refuse whatever Haman has planned. Now, Haman, let Haman be an example to us. But there's something that you're going through. There's something fighting you. There's maybe a sickness that attacked you. Maybe something entered into your household. There are some things. But today, I want the name of that will be praised. But that whatever Haman is doing, God has already revealed to us. Let the name of God be praised. Now, when they cast a lot, and then it went through, Haman, he decided in his heart to give a sacrifice of 1,000 talent to make sure that Mordecai and all his people are destroyed. Today, maybe you don't know that Mordecai that Haman has done a plot, that Haman has plotted and, and even sacrificed that to tell you that God is faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. What amazes me, Haman went ahead. He went to the king and then told him there are some people here who pray but you don't understand their ways and they're going to even destroy your kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, what I tell you get is you have experienced where you work and then they begin a war against you and you've done nothing at all and the situation changes and the rules rise against you but all that is done by Haman he has sacrificed on your behalf and you don't know he even has gone to the king that these people have given a sacrifice and have even paid in your treasury and go and they the king took his signet ring and he said go and do whatever you want to do to them. Children of God this afternoon let us understand the schemes of Haman. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me give you a, a t testimony. I had a friend of mine Business partner. He was a business partner. I had the agents of selling summit in the whole of Uganda. And then I called one of the brethren that we may share different areas in Uganda. And I taught him business. He was a soldier. And then I said, okay, give me your wife. Families are our families, we are friends. And his own father helped me a lot. And then I remember that I've got to give them, I've got to help them as well. So I opened whatever I opened up a branch for them and whatever they began with was mine. on credit. And I gave everything to them on credit. That sell and give me money back. But praise God. Time came. And they were well off as well. But I didn't know that they were planning scheming against me. And they sacrificed on my behalf. And they brought a massive goat. And, and, and a bunch of matoke bananas. 
and the Kanzu tunic the Gomez. And, the, and the Gomez for women and they say we have come to give thanks to you because of what you did for us we have seen the grace of God we've, all the wealth we've got, we have is through you take these gifts which is a sign that we are giving thanks to you and I took the gifts and I was happy and we cut the, we slaughtered and the goat and we, I called my friends and we had a barbecue and I took the tunic and dressed in it and my wife put on the gomez dress and, and we ate I didn't know they were undressing me that's where the problems began I want to tell you it may be it has not come to yet. But they undressed me spiritually. As soon as I had the barbecue of the goat and the matoke that they brought, the green bananas, I don't know what they put in it. But it, it took me 15 years to get rid of that. They changed my style. All my wealth, they took it. The, the following years, I was just going under. I was born again, and I was prayerful, and I was um, tithing and, and sowing seeds. I was doing all that. But Haman was already sacrificing on my behalf. Yes, and I didn't know about it. it. But when I cried unto God, as you see here, Mordecai, he, took, he sent a message to Esther because he got to know of it. He knew about it quickly. That this man who is in this position, he has got another spirit which is going to destroy us. Everybody else didn't know about it, but he perceives it. I'm here to tell you that cry unto God that he may show you the people around you. Time has come that God may take get rid of people who are not useful to you. That he may bring people who are useful to you. Brothers and sisters, God took away people who are useless to me and he brought people who are useful to me. When the problems had come, my friend was near me. He may spy on me. He will call me and say, Come and we pray. Come in my house and we pray. Because of the witchcraft he had done to me. Now I will go early in the morning and we pray. But by the time I leave, I will feel that I'm going crazy. Kamani. Haman. Turn to your neighbor. Say Haman. Haman is plotting for you. Kamani. Haman. Akupangida. Is plotting. Maybe that one doesn't hear you. Turn to another one and say, Haman is plotting against you. Now imagine this king, the, the wife is a Jew. <laughs> imagine this witchcraft. The wife he has is a Hebrew woman and he signed that they may go and destroy all of them. Now something that is seeking you today is near you. You eat with it. You are happy with it. And even fellowship with it. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's not you, my neighbor. (laughs) (laughs) 
We have a song in Luganda. It's very nice to me. <laughs> we have a song in Luganda. That, oh Lord, you have shown me your grace. You've helped me as well. Let your name be glorified. There's nothing I've done to help myself. There's nothing I've done to do, but your grace has been in sufficient. I'm here to tell you this afternoon that the grace of God that God may reveal Haman to you. That God may take away Haman from you. Stand on your feet and say, I cancel. Stand on your feet and say, I cancel. I cancel every scheme my enemy that was plotting against me. I refuse. I cancel. It won't be upon my life. It won't happen to my life. I cancel the spirit of poverty and even being backwards. Spirit of anxiety and crying and everything everything which has been holding my life. I break it off me. I take it off my life. And I burn it with fire. I burn it with fire. I burn it with fire. And every sacrifice given and whatever they have done to make me fail, to make me poor, to make me sick, I take it off me. I refuse it. I I destroy it in the name of Jesus. You may have your seat. I'm here to tell you that every altar that has been set up where they put your names they put your picture, your photo. Maybe they used your address or a shirt. The evil one. They are the ones who give us gifts. Now, I don't want to scare you. <laughs> because they have given you so many gifts. And today. You tell me by the end of this service whether what is making you cry is from the gifts you refused, you received. They, they, they bewitch us so much through the gifts. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even in what we eat, they bewitch us. There is a friend of mine, a lady. We met together in the middle of those problems. We, are, we used to go to the prayer mountain, mountain to pray. She stood with me in the times of trouble. The, spirit, the Holy Spirit revealed to her that you may go to the prayer mountain at, at, at 3 o'clock in the morning. But this woman was um, married she would leave her husband in the bed drive about four miles to come and, and get me and would we'll go for prayer in the, on the mountain she stood with me in the things we are praying for in the troubles that arose against me Hallelujah. amen but one time it rained now the person they've come to pray for and I ran away from the rain now she stayed in the rain praying now that witchcraft will take away from the presence of God uh, to take me where it wants to deal with me I pray that God may give you people to stand with you. That you may go through what you are going through. 
That's, that's what I said, that whatever Chiri problem is, magerocho. that whatever problem you have is got a miracle Era for you. Yapanga. And whatever the enemy plotted, plans on and all the plans he has, Omo this year, I cancel them in the name of Jesus Christ. Era ngana. And I refuse every plan of the enemy. I pray that God may open you, open your spiritual eyes. Olabe. That you may see. Obikulirwe. That you may get a revelation. As Mordecai got a revelation. Nala. And he saw that this man is evil. Mobi. Is evil. He refused to bow down to him. May the name of God be praised. I have got a child of mine. He gave me a testimony. And he told me that he had someone. He had someone that he calls mom. That they worked together for a long time. They, they are in Uganda. And every time I was talking, I said, mommy, mommy, is mommy, mommy, I'm going to see mommy. And I said to her that this year that God may separate all the people useless to you that may bring useful people to you. Now, the, among the people that she never thought would leave her was one of them. But today, that same person did something to her she never thought of and she called me. Dad, you, Dad, you can't believe this. The woman I brought to work with me has caused me to be sacked from job, the job. And I said to her, remember the prayer that we prayed. That God may take away all the people who are useless and then join with you people who are useless. Now I said to her, don't cry. Just thank God because now God is working. He's going to break Agenda off. Kujiako. He's going to take away all those. Today, I said, do not cry. When one door shuts, another nine doors are going to be opened. Don't remain on this door. Ladies and gentlemen, today, nine jobs are looking for her. Now she's in a problem to be deciding which one should I take? Which one should I take? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Haman. Haman. Yeah, we do we has been given authority. He has been given authority. Yes, you have to Jesus told us that the one who is reigning this world is here, coming. Yes. But he has no authority on him. Yes. But you pray. As I have overcome, you are going to overcome as well. They say that the people in the world, but let them, they're in the world, but protect them in the world. Because they're not of this world. I honor all the pastors in this place and every minister here and every, uh, every believer here. But the God that I believe in who took away the God that I ate and took away what was adorned of me and delivered me as I was beginning, I said, whatever case when it is before you, whatever situation coming before you, and whatever problem coming before you, first gather yourself together and ask God, what is this? Because that problem is uh, your miracle is in there. In the middle of that problem that came to me, that was where my miracle was. Which has brought me here today. They did evil. And they knew, they were sure that I'm finished. But praise be to God. He had a plan B. God has got a plan B for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Why is Haman persecuting you? Why Haman is looking for you? Ask your neighbor that. Why is Haman persecuting you? Answer is here. Here is the answer. Because you are the one taking salvation to your family. 
Haman is persecuting you. Because you are going to destroy all the altars in your family. You are going to set, set free all those who are captive. Now if you want to know, know this one better. Those people that you think are that at your, in your families. And you've helped them quite a lot. And you give them the money you give them. That's the same money they use to bewitch you. And sometimes you dream. Now you're in London here. But you dream of where you came from. They are pulling your spirit. Every night. And they, they know all that you are thinking of. And then they be weak pretty properly. Choose. Now change. And go back to God Umubuzi. and ask Him, Ndagamakogo. Show me your ways. Praise God. Umusajono. This man, God showed us, he put there an example for us that we are speaking about today. That Mordecai never bowed to Haman. The situation was tough. And they wrote letters. But they entered into prayer. And they fasted. What we call Esther fasting. As ladies and gentlemen, and three days things changed. I'm here to tell you that God is going to change everything. Whatever the devil was plotting, God is going to make you escape. God is going to make a way. Hallelujah. Amen. Now when the problems begin in my own side, slowly, slowly, now the first major problem that first came there was a way back in Uganda when the banks uh, were, were, were closing, being closed. You know, business people to go to banks. You know, business people, you normally use banks. We take loans and then we work. Now slowly now there was an area I could not supply anymore. Now this enemy who gave me a tunic and they gave me that area. Now he began taking my branches. I entered before the eyes of God. And I said, God, what is going on? And I checked myself. And God showed me the enemy. Now I started fighting with the enemy. As Mordecai understood, started praying. And Haman, started fighting Haman. In the spirit, in the physical, and then in the spirit. But the Holy Spirit was there. And even here, the Holy Spirit is at present. He's here hovering. In the problem you are going through, in that sickness you are going through, in that whatever attacked you, God, praise be to our God, God, that you are not an orphan. The Holy Spirit is hovering over you. And is going to take you out. In the middle of that problem, that a miracle is going to arise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The enemy is fighting you. Because when you become rich in your family, they will be bowing before you. The enemy is fighting you. Because you are, you are the beacon of our salvation in your family. The enemy is fighting you. That he may see. That he puts you down. Because God has given you the mantle. Turn to your neighbor and say you are the one having the mantle. Hallelujah. Tell them three times that you are the one having the mantle. Hallelujah. Amen. Now Haman is looking for you. He wants to destroy you. Whatever is on your life. Now, the Haman was told by the, the demons that Mordecai has got something on you. Tell your neighbor that you've got something on you. You've got something on you. Three times tell them that you've got something precious on you. 
That's precious thing is what Haman is hunting. Hallelujah. Amen. In you, there is something. Amen. In you there is salvation. In you there is light. In you there is salt. You are the salt of the earth. You are the sun of the light of this light. When the world looks at you, he sees the salt. And then it is shaken. Now what it does is to sacrifice on your behalf. Now we have come so comfortable where we are. And we think that you are okay. And our walk with God is not right. Our tithe with God is not right. Whatever I'm telling you, I've gone through with it. Let me give you a testimony. I sold one of my properties, the buildings in Uganda. Let me convert in pounds. Let me convert the money in the pounds. 300,000. Uh, 300,000 pounds. Yes, 300,000 pounds. Uh, what's the tithe of that? 30,000. 30, yeah. Do you know what I did? I looked at the church. And I said the church is not worth the 30,000 pounds. And I gave them 10,000. And I took the 20,000 and I used it on me. And I thought God sees the problems I'm going through. God, I will see you later. Lord. Let me finish with my problems. And I paid that money in the bank. It, because I was owed two, I was owing two million US dollars. That's about 1.7 pounds. 1.7 million pounds. Hallelujah. Amen. But you can never steal God. Now, the one I took from him, and the situation became even tough, and I didn't have any money. Interest in Edinia. And the interest go, rose up. Edinia double. And it doubled up. Now, I took 20,000 from God. Now, they are charging me for 40,000 pounds. 40,000 pounds. But I was in the church. Hallelujah. And they will see a man of God. But the God was seeing a thief. Now you may laugh. You may be a thief like me. <laughs> but you've got a mantle, you're my fellow thief. God is going to purify you today. How many are like that and you're still with the tithe? Very good. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my sister. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are going to be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Haman, the witchcraft is doing. Now, we must be well with God. Now, when I became, I was straightened myself with God. And I repented. And I fell in his hands. As Esther did. And that they entered fasting and prayer. And all these household that even Mordecai put on sackcloth and he put ash on him and they call the God of Israel and he changed the situation. And he gave the woman wisdom. I'm amazed by the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Then may God give you that wisdom that the Holy Spirit may come upon your life. That may give you an idea that is going to change your life. I pray that God may give you an idea. You may have spent a long time working 
God may give you an idea that you may employ others. Hallelujah. Amen. In three days, God began to work. Now, Haman was brought to a dinner and he went back and boasted that the king called me with his wife. Do you understand who Haman is? And he went back and he asked his wife that what do you think if the king is happy I had told me to come back for the dinner tomorrow but don't even leave Haman behind today your Haman God is going to put them on a hook like this amen and Haman boasted. I said, I'm finished. I'm finishing the new, the new Hebrews. And he did even a platform that he may kill Mordecai. But he went back to the dinner and he ate and he came back and he told his wife and his men that the grace upon my life I was born with it I've seen the grace I'm going to deal with them my wife as I told you and the wife said uh huh but if it is the Jews you are talking about go slowly you yeah, are not easy people I'm here to tell you that whatever attacked you let it go slowly whatever made you sick whatever got hold of your life whatever hold your, is holding your destiny whatever is holding your wisdom it God whatever changed God is going to return the favor upon you he went for the dinner the third time. I was dressed immaculately. But that time things changed. When he entered. And he said, who is that on the doorway? That Mordecai is there. That uh, because the whole night. The Holy Spirit was working. That the, you know when the Holy Spirit is there, you can't see. When they change, you check the but books. They are going to open books. They are going to open books. God has remembered you today. He's going to take away whatever was put on you. The day is today. God has prepared brothers and sisters. And they said, that the man that God and the king is pleased with, what is done for him? Pastor, you have a PhD in that. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> Pastor, even if you touch your beard, God can change situations. Neighbor, neighbor tell your neighbor that today you have a pleasure of talking with me. Things are going to change. You are going to start feeding papers to see me. You are start feeding papers. You are going to start feeling an application form to, to see me. You are here with me. You are going to give them a testimony that God has released and appeared for him, this person. This is a true story. Amen. This is a true story. Mordecai. Mordecai. They took him from the gate. Ma, this man Hamani explained that, that if you are happy with this man take your garment and give him your horse and take him around the, they take him around the city and proclaim that this is the man but the things changed Things change. Things are going to change. The one we believed in is alive. The one we believed in is on the throne. And the the the, the is like a, is in his hands. There's nothing that can defeat him. 
And the man said, go and do the same things you have described unto Mordecai. I'm here to tell you that your enemy is going to restore whatever he took from you. I'm, I'm, I'm being in a picture there where Mordecai is being dressed. Get man. This is a get man. Go on and imagine on this thing. Where does Haman get the jealousy on just a get man? Think about that. Get man. Just a get man. But now the get man is being dressed. Tell your neighbor. Get man, get man is being dressed. <laughs> hey. And now they are going through the Michael streets of Kajio. London and say, who is that Michael, Michael Kajio? Kajio? Michael Kajio be praised. <laughs> but the king is happy with Michael Kajio. Now the people that you have been working with, they are going to glorify your God. <laughs> whoever laughed, <laughs> whoever bewitched, <laughs> the whoever who did whatever, <laughs> and whatever was done, <laughs> God is going to turn it around to be a testimony. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the platform that was made for Mordecai is the same one they put Haman on to kill him. Now, the person who, who overcame on the cross is going to make you victorious. He's going to make, come you, make you come out of that graveyard. Ladies and gentlemen, the one who took Jonah from the fish's belly for three days was in the fish belly and it, it, it vomited him out it was like on me I was thrown into London amen praise the name of the Lord as we finish whoever bewitched the one who bewitched me I got to know who he is and what he was doing. And God made something for me. And I met him on one of the weddings in Uganda. And I told him that the God that I worship as he's alive is going to take me out and he's going to take me through another channel. I've, I'm living with all the summits um, as an agent because God is with me. Now I'm here to tell you, don't fear. Be of courage. God is with you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, one day came, one morning, I got out of the house when I had so many dates. As it came to 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, by 4 o'clock, all the dates were cleared. Now I came back to him. I renewed my covenant with my God. And I said that if, if you pay all the debts I have, I'm going to serve you. I'm going to testify wherever I go. And God came down. And he said, Manuel, today, relax, rest. I'm going to work for you. I had so many properties and I was published in the papers and no one was buying people would come and they say, they're going to buy my properties and no one was buying but listen to this in the middle where the banks were, were wanted their loans to be paid and they told me, the bank said they were going to sell off your property and you want men anything. But what was inside of me, and I told them that it's easy for you to say that, but it's, it's difficult for you to sell all that I have. I've got somebody bigger in me. There is a gentleman. When God began to work, 
money came from New York. Came from here. And I paid all my debts. God, praise be to God. God is going to pay your debts. Who delivered me is going to deliver you. The one who healed me is going to heal you. God who is powerful. Who took that away from me. Today. My enemy. Looks at me. And cannot believe. Because. Whatever he was fighting. Upon my life not to come to pass. Now it has come to pass. My house. My house. You know, for black people, we have so many children. My, my father had six wives, six women. That's Africa. Don't be amazed, that's Africa. We are about, I have about 20 siblings. But, they gather together all my family. And they chase, they say we are banishing you from our family. You're no longer our brother. Now our father has got a stroke. My father. When he came back to life after or out of the coma, he said it is Suboga killing me. And even when I die, he should not come to bury me. Now, when my brothers, my siblings told me, they wrote a paper and said, We are banishing you from our family. And I took my paper, I left them. I went to the veranda and I told them, You are going to look for me. Because the God who called me is faithful. I've never done anything evil to you. Hallelujah. Amen. After two years, after two years, God did something. When I came out of the uh, the, the debts, every one of them came to me saying, "You have a mighty God." The ones coming from my mother's side went to mom. And I said, we are struggling. We did a mistake to our brother. Now take us there that we may repent before him. And they all came back. And they repented before me. I have seen the grace of God. I have seen the hand of God. I never went to school. In my family. God has taken me to nations. Hallelujah. Amen. The one who brought me into this world, my father, said these, these words. You'll never see a blessing in this world. You'll never go around this world. You'll never see anything good in this world. He never knew the person he was talking about. And I canceled the plan of Haman. And I canceled every curse. Now, where am I today? Now, I rang my enemy Haman. And I said, and I said, he asked me, where are you? And I said, I'm in Canada. Now you may say that I told him lies. But because I know Haman is a witch. Now, <laughs> now he's on Canada, he's bewitching Canada. Rise <laughs> up on your feet. May God give you the spirit of wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now take a few minutes praying to God. If you've got a neighbor, a friend of yours, uh, hold his hand. Just two of you, pair up. Just pair up. If you've got your husband, get hold of them. <laughs> Come this way. <laughs> Amen. Now pray for that person. Pray for him.
Pray for him so that God can open his eyes. So that he can see. Pray for his life. Pray for his family. Pray. Don't look at me, please, brother. Sister, pray. Rikata shaka maturiba. Shere moto ye riketo shika makaturiba. Makaturi botu. Shere maturiba katu. Shiki to kutu. Nangi I declare a healing on your life. Rokato shake. You had problems, you had sicknesses. I declare healing. Reke to shere mataya. Reke to shiki to rama mama mama mama. Roli wa turi wo shere motori ka. Riro mo. Reke to shiki to raka ka 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 tasha. Reke moto shere motori. Riya mama 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 mama. Reke to you. Homokono go go nyamu kama. Lani gaga kuzuki zaba foga bazuki za. Oshulu lava sadja ba raba kazi ba nokuva mani go na gezi kiza. Reke to shere mokoto. Mama 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 ba. Reke to robo yo. Reke to ya. Reke to ye. O nyamu kazo nyamu kama. O mu amula biyaliya biyanywa. O mu jaka mu chikalima. Reke ba ma 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 ma, romodo shiremo ye, rama ma ma ma, ro rama ma ma ma. You are starting that marriage was about to break. Rama ma 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 ma, romodo shiremo ye, ozuki za, ori ma 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 ma. God may do something new in their lives. That whatever is holding their lives, give them a blessing. That they may be manifested great things in their life. That your glory may be manifested in their life. Destroy every evil that has come there. Deliver them, O God. The one who delivered me, delivered them. who washed me, washed them. Who took away things to take them away from them. That your grace may hover over them. And your power. They may take them away from the grace. And your great peace may hover over them. Their goodness and mercy and peace and heaven and joy may sit upon their lives in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may have your seats quickly for a few minutes. Who has been blessed this afternoon? We thank God because God loves us. He sends us these messages. Um, Reverend Nsubuka has gone through it quite a lot, but that he has found solace in the grace of God and victory in the grace of God. That's a massive testimony, even inspiring us. Praise God. I remember when he was giving one of these testimonies at one time, uh, they wanted to kill him. Uh, I, I know he remembers, and they they plotted against him, and actually they they they, what you, they he was shot, bullets, in his legs. Um, the point I think they wanted to cut off the legs or something like that, but now that God has totally healed him from that. Praise God, you know God is gracious and good, but I believe that the God who did it for him. 
is the one doing it for us. And as Reverend said this afternoon that we are being taken away, there is going to be a transformation in our lives. I want you to proclaim that. He said, today, I'm seeing the end of every plot of the enemy against me and my family and my people. You know, as we are reading that text, remember when he said that this man was out to destroy not only Mordecai, but all his people? You know, when people begin to plot against you, they plot against you as an individual, against your kids, and against your entire family. You know, it's like against today, Christians, they're being plotted against every single time. Every law now they are trying to pass is against Christians. But we are saying no in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Say that whatever is being plotted against me and my family won't come to pass in the name of Jesus. Whatever is being plotted against me, even where I work, against my children, where they go to school, at uni, I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. It won't come to pass. Hallelujah. Whatever is being plotted against the children of God as Christians in this nation and everywhere else, we cancel that. We refuse that. We cancel that in the name of Jesus. It won't come to pass. It will be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. It gives us power to go back and pray. If God did it for Mordecai, he will do it for you. Praise God. And sometimes you wonder, Haman was a prime minister. Mordecai was nothing. But this man had this envy in him. Trying to destroy somebody who had nothing. But God was on their behalf. He said, God is on my behalf. God is on my side. Praise God. Tell your neighbor, God is on my side. He is on my side. I won't be defeated. Whatever sickness, it won't defeat me. Whatever plot, it won't come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, I won't be a failure. I won't be destroyed. I won't be frustrated. But I'll overcome. Because Jesus overcame, I'm going to overcome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you believe that? Hallelujah. It has been wonderful. We shall see whether we'll get Pastor Reverend Soboga back. Um, we'll see. I'll let you know. If you smile better on me, then maybe if you see me, come and see me. Sister, smile better to me. <laughs> Praise God. No, no, I was just. Barbara, yes. If you smile better, then maybe. <laughs> Praise God. Can you raise up our hands and pray for Reverend Nisubuka? Father, we thank you for the anointing upon this man's life. For the message he carries, oh God. Thank you for the love you've showed him, my Father God. He is a testimony in the body of Christ. And we pray that we may continue to use him mightily. There will be a voice unto those who have been captive, captured and, and, and lost. That bring him that, that may be brought back, my Father God. Surround him with your grace as a shield. Cancel every plan of the enemy against his life. That no evil touch him whatsoever. But that your grace will be sufficient, oh God. Protect him and his entire family. That your name will be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 Yes. A little quick compliment to the wonderful word. I think he was ministering to me. Because the message is directly to me. But I just wanted to put a little bit of a compliment that uh, as Christians, we should walk in the spirit and be focused. Key thing is that you should be discerning in whatsoever happens. Because these things happen is even within the body of Christ. Those who say, I praise the Lord. Amen? Because he has spelled it clearly. They went to pray in his house over and again. But probably because he didn't focus on discernment, there he fell short. 
and many of us fall short many times. And I'm saying so because it's happening to many of us today. And so wake up in the morning and you wonder why this person is so friendly and is bringing this particular thing for you to partake. You don't know why. I will not talk about my case because it's still ongoing. And I will testify. Amen. Because it's living. Amen. And it's coming to pass. But I'll speak about something else. A person who was born again and Christian was in the church and they were purposed to finish him. And this person who purposed to finish them because they needed the position brought them a pie and said, oh, uh, this is a pie I homemade. Oh, please have it. And he said, I'm sorry. It's unfortunate today I'm praying. And unfortunately for him, for the person who was giving the, uh, the, the food, this person was really fasting. And the time when she timed again to bring a muffin, which was poisoned also, that very time the person was praying. How many times do you pray? Keep in the presence of God. The third time, when she brought to eat or something for her, for the person to eat, and the man said he was praying again, she outrightly burst out and said, how shall I do it to kill you, to get rid of you? So the devil revealed it out, and she confessed. Well, according to the testimony, she's now a born-again Christian, and God does great and better things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you so much, Pastor Frank, for that testimony. Those things happen. They happen. They, unfortunately, they happen even in the Christian body because the devil is using people who are near us. But there is something that Pastor mentioned about the gifts. What I've learned about gifts being brought to us, pray for them. Always. Remember, I remember there's a scripture um, when King David received gifts and he prayed for them. So don't just take them and just bounce. I've got a testimony on that. I'll tell you some other time. I nearly died. I was happy that I received something. And then uh, it's a long one. Praise God. Come back next week and I'll tell you. <laughs> Praise God. But these things happen. But thank you so much. But thank God the Holy Spirit has revealed things to us. Because now we know how to fight a battle. Sister Maria is telling me that we need to do a love offering for the pastor. Praise God. Can, can we do a love offering uh, for, for Reverend? Um, we have a cashless system. If you don't have cash, we can use and then we can find a way of transferring the money from the account. But yes, let's do. I'll bring the gifts over here and then we do. And we do a love offering. Praise God. Amen. If you have cash, it will be good. If you don't, then we can use, you can use the, the machine. Praise God. You know, we are living in a cashless society nowadays. But yeah, it's been wonderful, been blessed by God. Um, we'll see whether we can have uh, Reverend Subuga another time. Praise God. Do you feel that you can overcome? Now, we know we have to be discerning. And I think Pastor Frank sealed it off with that testimony. Um, that you can, you have to be discerning. And that kept that person is, is, was being kept in the presence of God, prayer and fasting. Don't know if they had brought the muffin to me, whether I would have said, you know, <laughs> praise God. But you know, God is so good. We rely on him and we shall overcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, we are not having the uh, prayer group this week. I'll let you know when you are going to have it. I've heard from Bishop Freddy and his wife. They send their greetings to you. And they've thanked so much. The people have called them and sent them um, whatever you've sent them. As uh, I think uh, they are having another seminar this week for the leaders, which was in uh, in central part of Kampala. But they've been moving all around. So all the help that you've given them, thank you so much. And may God bless you mightily. Praise God. Can you stand up on your feet? Hallelujah. Can you find a few words to prophesy upon the person next to you? Prophesy. Speak. Speak words. Say that God may open their eyes. 
discernment overcome say to them that God is taking them out of debts praise God hallelujah you know Reverend Subga has been telling us about the debt he had 1.7 or even more than 2 million pounds but God paid that all. Some of us have been crying over debts of, uh, of 10,000, 20,000 student loan and all that. But the same God who did it for him is taking you out of debts in the name of Jesus Christ. We are canceling every debt upon our life. We are praying that God may give us the ability to pay every debt in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tap into that anointing in the name of Jesus. That every debt is paid off. We are not just canceling them. We are being given the ability to pay them. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Praise God. You know, I was told that don't just cancel debts. If I owed you money, I won't let the debt to be canceled. We are praying for people to have the ability to pay debts. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what the church needs. The ability to pay debts. That every debt will be taken care of. We cancel the spirit of poverty. In the name of Jesus Christ. And this week I pray. That you come back with a testimony. That you shall testify of the goodness of God. Of the victory God has given you. Of the doors he has opened for you. Of the business ideas he has given you. That will become productive in the body of Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we pray. And our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As it is done in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and give, give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. That's not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forevermore. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and shall dwell in the house of the Lord now and forevermore. Amen. Just bear with me. I had forgotten. We have a birthday and we have a cake to share. Praise God. Uh, can we bring the cake quickly?